All right, hey guys, it's Faith from Face World Media. If you're new to OneStream, it's a wonderful live streaming tool. And in this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to connect your different channels and how to go live, how to set up your live to look professional and just to get started for the first time. With that said, when you first land in any sort of live stream environment, I'm not sure about you guys, it just feels a little bit intimidating uh, the first time around. You're probably thinking, what if things go wrong? What if it doesn't work? What if the streams don't connect? Um, or if I'm still live when I'm supposed to be offline, that's not gonna happen. The feeling is very natural, however. So when you first get here, there are different ways for you to connect different channels or trying to make it very obvious. That's what I'm gonna do first is adding destinations by clicking on connect. The main channels are Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, it's important to know that TikTok, Yes, live stream is available, but you need to have a minimum of a thousand followers there. So with that said, uh, when I click on Instagram, you'll have the option to connect to Instagram using two different methods. One, you can do it manually and the other is through Insta feed. Now you'll also notice I'm currently on a free plan. So it's important that I call this out on free plan. You have two multi streaming destinations. The moment you upgrade to uh, basic, now you have five multi streaming destinations to me. I feel like honestly, for most creators, that's going to be enough or more than enough. The one that I'm most, most curious about, and I think it's going to be the main point of this is going to be Instagram. And remember the others are really, really straightforward. Instagram is a slightly tricky one due to the orientation. So let's go ahead and connect via Insta feed. So when you click on Insta feed, you don't need to create an account. In fact, it's actually using your same Instagram login account. So your username and password. Now from here, you have the option to get a security code via your text message, your email. I tend to default to text. Destination connected successfully. From this point on, I'm just gonna create a stream. With the stream, you have the option to do three things. This is similar to Restream as well. You can use your built-in studio, which is one I'm gonna show you. You also can connect your OBS or Zoom and other apps externally. So let me go ahead and show you real quick. So um, from here, lastly, you can upload a video file. This is called a pre-recorded live. You can also connect not only through one stream storage or your device, you know, from your download folder, wherever it is on your computer, but you can also import files from a variety of uh, cloud storage systems like Dropbox, Google Drive, et cetera, Box, for instance. And so with that said, let's go ahead and just explore uh, studio, shall we? Now on to the next step. One, send stream to universal player. What does that mean? The universal player is a permanent place for all your events. You can embed the player on your website and things like that. Really convenient and stream on my one stream hosted live page that I have also included a brief description of what that means. You can actually create your dedicated live stream page directly on one stream without having a website or build up anything else, Squarespace or WordPress. This is really quite neat and it comes with your package. Now, so last but not least uh, event thumbnail. So this is a default thumbnail that'll be used if no image is used. And so you can upload your thumbnail. You know me, I really love using, uh, so Canva, for instance, what I can do is if I just get rid of that, it is this default image ready to go live now, or you can schedule it later. So I'm going to say, just go live now, no destination selected. So you're going to do that first. Remember, I only have one destination selected right here. So when I tab on it, you see it turned to a slightly darker gray. And let's just enter the studio right now. Stream is scheduled. I'm gonna allow the use of my microphone like so. I'm gonna allow it to use my camera as well. For that reason, I'm gonna turn myself off here. All right, here I am. And my display, display name is Fei Wu. And sometimes I, you know, you can put in parentheses, Face World Media, creating a session. And now, welcome to the walkthrough. This is a simple walkthrough to get you started. You can drag and drop participants in the layout, as you can see in the middle. You can control participants' audio and video. Wow, that's really helpful. You can also enter remove participants from the meeting. Over here, you can control your own audio video from these options. So next, I'm gonna show you. You can enter chat branding sections and enter live sales, live sales guys, all right here 
for those of you who are Amazon influencers and etc. You got your Shopify store all hooked up. This is definitely going to be very helpful. Next, you can start recording and streaming from here. By the way, if you're live streaming for the first time, you definitely want to check out your environment a little bit to see the framing. You know, do you want to move your camera up and down slightly and just move stuff out of the way? I can see the mess to my left hand side, but for the purpose of this, I'm not going to be worried about it too much. So here, right underneath my screen, you can see it's just me right now. Uh, mobile layout is coming soon, but you can actually see if there are more than just me, there are different layouts you can play with. And the control panel, you can minimize, expand. Microphones, as I mentioned earlier, here I can double check to make sure I'm using the right microphone, which is Scarlett. USB, my camera, it should be using my Logitech, which is correct. And I can also provide any screen share. So things like that I can see on my screen, all the window that are open at the moment. So live sales, I don't have anything going on right now, but I want to show you what I will have. So I have my uh, over here, create live sales list and add items here. And this is a premium feature, by the way. You have seen the free version now. There's a lot you can do, two accounts, and you have limitations around customization. So what I want to do now is actually use a test account so you get to see uh, basically, you know, what you get with a premium version. There's a different color you can already see. Let's now take a look at branding, different backgrounds, right? Look, I can change the color, change the design really easily. What about the overlay, different logo, top left logo, top right logo. And let me do a top right logo. It's loading, it's show, it's hide. You see that? It's important to make sure you do have a little bit of a uh, background. With that said, I also am curious to see what happens when I go live on my own channel. Face world, my page, start broadcasting. <clears throat> it says, hold on. Please wait just a second. Almost there. Initializing. <laughs> okay, seems like it's going through a bit of a cycle here. All right. Hi, everyone. This is Faye from Face World Media, and I am so excited for a number of reasons. But first of all, as you can see, I'm currently live streaming from, uh, oh my God, one stream. I'm also looking on my phone right now. Um, the reason why I am doing this is because I've had great difficulties trying to find a tool that allows me to live stream to Instagram very easily. And when I finally do that, first of all, you know, the crop is a little bit different and I certainly don't want to appear in a tiny little landscape window. So this is really helpful, actually. Uh, what I do like about this is number one, one stream actually costs like half as much and you have all the bells and whistles. So imagine like for me personally, as as a content creator um, in the business domain, what I like to do is live stream onto uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, ideally Instagram, which I can do so now very easily. And by the way, my stream is still landscape everywhere else and only vertical on Instagram. Really simple. Please let me know in the comments below. And if you have tried something like this, you have heard of OneStream. I haven't honestly, prior to like two months ago. And I was really surprised that I can do this. By the way, for those of you basically selling things, you know, on Shopify or Amazon Live, OneStream allows you to integrate all of that and actually pre-build, pre-plan your products prior to you going live. So have fun around and uh, let me know if this can transform your content creation journey, whether you're running your little e-shop or perhaps your speaker or coach trying to get your idea out there easily, effectively. And I hope everybody else is enjoying the summer. I would like to announce that my very, very good friends, Herman and Tarek, who are spending 10 days with us, and it's just absolutely fantastic. If you're still watching at this point, a couple of other updates. I'm kind of like also trying to talk with my Invisalign uh, on for the past two weeks. And that's something new that I've also written about on my website, because what I'm trying to do here as part of Face World is I'm trying to kind of give let myself branch out a little bit. We're obviously very heavy on AI, on tech, trying to help creators and small businesses understand what the gaps are. Is AI just so much of the bluff and rah-rah, like 
everything is AI now, but how exactly do I integrate that into my business? How does it actually help my business? And um, so that's something we're very focused on. And uh, wherever you are, um, I hope you are enjoying yourself and I hope you are part of a community that loves and supports you.